How to install Docker in Red Hat like system with Ansible? I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. In order to install Docker on a Red Hat like system, we need to perform three different steps. The first step is to download the GPG signature key for the repository. You are going to use the ansible.builtin.rpm underscore key ansible module. This encrypted key verify the genuinity of the packages and the repository and guarantee that the software is the same as Docker releases. The second step is to add the Docker repository to the distribution. It's an extra website where your YAM or DNF, your distribution package manager, look like for software. You are going to use the ansible.builtin YAM underscore repository Ansible module. And the first step is to update the yum cache for the available packages and install docker using the ansible.builtin.yum ansible module. And that's it. Parameters. For the ansible.builtin.rpm underscore key ansible module, I'm going to use two parameters, key and state. The key parameter specify the URL of the key ID of the repository GPG signature key and the state verify that is present in our system after the execution. For the ansible.builtin.yam underscore repository ansible module, I'm going to use four parameters name, base URL, gpg check and gpg key. The name parameter specify the repository name of the repository and the base URL the URL of it. The gpg check parameter enable the gpg verification with the URL specified in the gpg key parameter. And for the Ansible built-in YAM Ansible module, I'm going to use three parameters, name, state, and update underscore cache. The name parameter specify the package name Docker C in our use case, and the state verify that is present in our system after the execution. Before installing the package, the update underscore cache perform an update of the DNF cache to ensure that the latest version of the package is going to be downloaded. So demo time, let's jump in a real life Ansible playbook to install Docker in a Red Hat like systems. Let's get our hands dirty. Yay! Welcome to my editor. I will show you one simple playbook to install Docker in Red Hat like system. So first of all, let's begin our YAML document with free dash and our play with a name. Install Docker that is going to target us all of my inventory and I need become true because I'm going to run as a root all this code. So let's start our task list. First of all, let me set my distribution that is a, a variable that will be assigned by the distribution value of my target system. So I'm going to use ansible.building.setfacts and let me define my distribution as follow. So precisely, I would like to set the value to rel if the uh, 
Ansible underscore distribution is Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So here we go. Let me enter Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Here we go. So basically, if is Red Hat Enterprise Linux, I'm expecting to assign rel, else I'm going to assign ansible underscore distribution by filtered by lowercase. So in this way, I'm going to have, for example, Fedora in lowercase or CentOS in lowercase. As you can see, this is very useful. Okay, let me correct the typo. It is very useful, so if it's Red Hat Enterprise Linux, I'm not assigning all this stuff only rel, otherwise I'm assigning the value of this variable. So let's move it on. This will be very useful for the following code. So let's begin for adding signature key, so the GPG key for verifying the repository and the package. So using ansible.builtin rpm underscore key. Let me download the key to via HTTPS. Uh, the website is uh, download.docker.com slash Linux and slash my distribution. So Fedora for Fedora, CentOS, uh, or L and slash gpg. Here we go. Easy busy. And the state obviously is present. Now we need to define the new repository into repo d list. So let me add repository into repo d list. Here we go. I'm going to use ansible.builtin dot yam underscore repository module. So few parameters here. Name is mandatory and will be docker. And what else? Let me add also the description of docker. That will be docker repository. Base URL is mandatory. So let me specify HTTPS and this information found in the website of Docker. So download.docker.com slash Linux slash the value of my distribution. Here we go again. And some other parameters slash release there. This will be valued directly by YAML DNF and slash base arch. This is the system architecture and stable because I would like stable software on my system. Uh, enabled, uh, let me defer. Enable to true and GPG check to true. Let me also specify GPG key to HTTPS download. The doc oh, is the same as before, so let me. Will be more easy to copy and paste this stuff and not make any typo. So let me do this for you. Here we go. And so we have a GPG key, we have a repository, we can install the package finally. So install Docker. Here we go. I'm going to use ansible.builtin.yam module. Uh, on the name, I'm going to specify a list because I need docker-c, the community edition plus docker-c-cli, and another utility that is called containerd.io. Here we go. State will be latest version because we want the latest obviously update underscore cache let me set to true so i'm going to update the cache before installing the package and last things that we need to do is to start docker service 
To interact with service, I'm going to use ansible.builtin.service. Service, here we go. The name of a service is uh, Docker. So very easy. And let me enable, which means uh, that every boot is going to be started and the state is going to be started. So will be executed right here, right now, and every boot. Let me recap with you. In uh, just a few lines, I was able to uh, set up my distribution, uh, one easy variable, add the GPG key, add the repository with all the important definition, install the Docker, and start the service. So, easy peasy. Are you ready? So we don't need to get our hands dirty, we just need to run this code and forget. And Docker will be up to date in my system. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect with, to my target system via SSH. DevOps is the username. Fedora.example.com is my system. It's a brand new virtual machine. So let me switch to root and do some uh, easy checking. First of all, let me cut slash etc slash OS release. As you can see, it's the latest version of Fedora. 35 and let's verify that uh, no yam.repo.d is available on the system so only the fedora official uh, repository are enabled if i'm typing docker dash dash version this system don't know nothing about the docker command let me search for rpm dash qe grab uh, docker no result uh, Let's double check yam list installer docker c no package no matching package to list so docker package don't exist for this system so let's quickly exit from the system and get ready for the my playbook execution that is going to do all the hard work of setting up the things and being able to run docker on this machine to run the code ansible dash playbook dash e let me specify also my inventory file under virtual machine fedora 35 inventory and the path for my playbook install docker with that dot yml here we go so this code is going to take some moment because there are a lot of network interaction. As you can see, it's going to download the GPG uh, key, configure the repository under the repo list, and then refresh all the metadata of my repository, taking care of setting up the packages for Docker, CLI, and ContainerD, and all the necessary dependency. So everything is performed behind the scene by YAM and DNF, the package manager of Fedora, and basically we don't need to do anything. So we need only to wait, the time depends by the connection speed of your machine and also the performance of the machine we are going to receive a change of status which means that some actions are performed on the target machine and when it's going to be done we are ready to have fun and le yes last thing is to configure the service but this is very super fast execution this is the real time of execution on my system so on your system will be more probably more fast, but I don't want to lie to you. This is the real time that is needed. But if you consider the time saving or doing this manually and following the guide from a website, this will be completely automated. In just a few minutes, the system is done. As you can see, four changes status, 
6 ok and now what happens if we execute again our code? Let's see. I'm expecting only OK status, which means no further action and Ansible only to verify that each step was executed. And here we go. This property is called hidden potency. But let's double check connecting via SSH, DevOps is the username, fedora.example.com is the hostname. This time under slash etc yam.repo.d there is a new commerce that is called docker.repo. If we cut we see that uh, there is the Fedora base URL and all the necessary parameters are already configured. What happens if I'm searching for rpm qe grab docker? We got some result! Yay! Exactly, docker 20.10.12 is available for the system. So yum list installed docker CE return a result, which means that docker CE is installed. Let's double check with docker dash dash version and is available. Last things uh, we could try to run a container on our system. So docker run hello dash world. This is a sample container that is going to be downloaded super fast and receive this message. So yay! We got docker running on our Fedora machine with zero effort thanks to Ansible. Cool! Wait a minute, if you try this code on Relate, you might end up having this bug. And uh, I was looking for a way of uh, installing 64-bit packages on my Relate and they didn't work. It ended up that there is a, a current bug report open since September 2021 because packages are not available for 64 relate directly from Docker. I really hope that the Docker guys are able to fix it this as soon as possible. As you can see, I wrote a comment and I hope someone will take a look in the near future. Meanwhile, finger crossed and be aware that there is this bug for relate Docker packages. Now you know how to install Docker in a Red Hat-like system. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, write me a message and keep in contact with me. See us on the next IT adventure of Ansible Ply Pilot. Let's automate more of our world. Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!